Welcome back to our channel, Divine Light. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Have you ever felt like God is trying to speak to you, but you just can't hear him? I know I have. I remember a time when I was going through a tough period in my life and I felt so lost. I prayed and prayed, but it seemed like God wasn't answering. It was only later that I realized I had been so wrapped up in my own thoughts and worries that I wasn't open to hearing God's voice. In today's video, we'll explore six signs that God might be talking to you and how you can tune into his voice. If you're ready to deepen your connection with God and hear his guidance more clearly, make sure to watch this video until the end. And if you find this content valuable, don't forget to like and subscribe for more faith-based content. One, you feel blocked. Sometimes we may feel like there's a barrier preventing us from hearing God's voice. This could be due to unconfessed sin in our lives. The Bible tells us if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1 9. Take some time to examine your heart and ask God for forgiveness. Repentance restores our fellowship with him and removes any obstacles that may be blocking us from hearing his voice. 2. Your passion to hear God's voice disappears. Listening to God begins with a genuine desire to hear from Him. If you find that your passion for hearing God's voice has waned, it's time to reignite that desire. Start with a simple prayer. Heavenly Father, give me ears to hear you. Help me to hear your voice over the noise of this world. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, God is always speaking to us. It's up to us to tune in and listen. 3. You're not open to receiving His word. It's easy to talk to God and present our requests, but it's harder to listen to what he's telling us. Listening to God requires training and discipline. The writer of Hebrews tells us, but solid food belongs to those who are of full age, that is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Hebrews 5.14 Practice listening to God daily, and you'll become more attuned to his voice. 4. You lack humility. Hearing God's voice requires a humble heart. The Bible tells us, Then you will call upon me, and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29, 12, 13. Approach God with humility, acknowledging that you need his guidance. Don't make demands of God. Instead, ask, seek, and knock, and he will open the door to you. 5. You don't believe God wants to speak to you. It's essential to believe that God wants to speak to you personally. If you doubt that God wants to communicate with you, it's unlikely you'll hear his voice. Remember, Jesus promised to send us the Holy Spirit to guide us. John 14, 26. When you receive the Holy Spirit, hearing God's voice becomes a natural part of your life. Trust that God is already speaking to you and start listening. 6. You have trouble accepting God's lead. God wants to lead you to the good things he has in store for you. If you're having trouble hearing God, remember that he loves you and wants to be involved in every detail of your life. Trust in his love and guidance, even when you can't discern his voice. The Bible tells us, In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Proverbs 3, 6. Accept God's love and influence in your life, and you'll find it easier to hear his voice. Hearing God's voice is a journey that requires time, effort, and a willing heart. If you've been struggling to hear God's voice, take these six signs to heart and make the necessary changes in your life. Remember, it's not God who isn't speaking. It's us who may not be open to hearing him. Believe that God is already speaking to you and start listening. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more faith-based content. And remember, God is always speaking to you. It's up to you to listen. May you be blessed with a deeper connection to God and a greater ability to hear his voice. Now I have a question for you. Have you ever heard God's voice? Share your experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you.